What's happening? It's Greg here, Fisherman's Headquarters. Gonna show you today how to tie a fluke sliding rig. So first, we're gonna take the monofilament line. We're gonna do a snell. If you don't know how to do a snell, this is how you do it. A little bit on the front, you do a big loop. So it just kind of goes around, a little bit hanging over here. Pinch it, and I work back to that side. I don't wanna say left or right, cause my left right now is different than yours. So I'm working towards that direction. Wrapping back in sequential wraps. Do maybe, I don't know, seven of these or so, eight, nine, whatever you wanna do. Pinch that. You can bring this, tag it all the way through. Don't go too fast, or you'll kind of chafe up the line. And that right there is a simple snell. If you haven't ever seen one of those before, you should learn it. It's definitely a really, really good way to attach a hook to a leader. In this scenario, I'm gonna bring this tag in through the eye of the hook, cinch that down nice, slides right up, looks all pretty. And I'm gonna leave this tag in here for now. So that right there is just a simple saltwater snell. Um, if you want to use a, if you want to utilize a sliding rig, you need to do another snell, but rather than snelling it with this monofilament leader material, we're going to snell it with a braided line. This scenario, we're using high vis mono so you can see it, and also high vis, high -vis braid. Um, you don't always have to do so. I like to use a red spectra braid, most times 65 or 80 pound. For this example here, I'm using uh, just some high vis yellow so you can see it. Um, so let me go here. Basically, the first snell is the back hook. If I was to snell this the exact same way, I'd have a fixed, what they call it, tandem rig. I could snell it this close, I could snell it here, do whatever you want. But for example's sake, because this is what I was requested to show, is how to make a sliding rig. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna set this hook up my hand, same direction I had it before. I'm gonna pretend like this leader here is not there. So if you saw how I did that first snell, I kept it with about that much tag end. I'm gonna leave that there, that's not in the equation. I'm gonna lay this piece on here just like I did before. Do a big loop de dupe Put my tag end back here. If you noticed, it goes just like this. Same thing, right? I'm just gonna continue doing that exact same snell, sequential wraps going over both lines, tag end, which is yellow, and also the high vis monofilament line, wrapping back that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kind of pinch that, I'm just pulling this tag end of the braid. I'm gonna kind of snug that up a little bit. And now for the most part, that's done. Now what you have here is the braided line snelled and you have the monofilament line underneath of the snell. You can slide it to wherever you want it. Be sure to pull your monofilament out and drop it through the eye of the hook. This way it's attached to your main line or leader line. Now you can see here, I could have this separated like this. If you wanted to put this say in a, the say the, the front of a squid, this kind of towards the head. Uh, you could use a long strip bait. You can kind of do whatever you want. You could maybe uh, fish a live bait, put this one in the nose, this one in the tail, uh, whatever you want to do. But that's basically it. Um, at this point, you would tie up a three-way swivel or a regular swivel, a barrel swivel up on this end. Uh, maybe use a sinker slide. Uh, maybe use the fixed sinker, which would be a three-way or egg weight. Um, this side is, is open for um, imagination. Here, sometimes you could, don't always have to, you keep it nice and clean, no jewelry, or you could slide a bead, uh, a riveted bucktail slider, mylar slider to dress it up. Um, so now it makes a hollow uh, teasers. You could slide one of them on there. Um, beads, a, a clevis, and, and a spinner. You can get pretty creative if you want, but for the most part, that is the basics of a very universal rig. Once again, it's a snell and a snell. This one's snelled with a leader line. This one's snelled with a braided line. Um, once again, I'm gonna suggest if you're fluke fishing, this would be 20, 30, 40 pound test. And this here would be 65 or 80 pound spectra braid. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send a message. Um, 
Hopefully you guys take a try at this and catch a bunch of big fish. Once again, it's Greg here at Fisherman's Headquarters. You need some fishing tackle. Love to help you guys out. Have a great day.